Hello everyone, welcome back and in today's video we will solve a problem from Newton's laws of motion. So this is problem number 20 from Check Your Understanding. So in this question we have two identical books, each of n pages and they are placed together such that the alternate papers of the book overlap each other and the mass of the overlapped portion of each paper is given to be m. The coefficient of static friction between the papers is mu and the arrangement is placed on a frictionless horizontal table and the books are then pulled apart horizontally without rotation as shown in the figure. So we have to find the minimum pulling force F that is required to separate out the books. Now the answer given to this problem in the book is actually wrong but, but the final expression that they gave in the book is correct. So but the numerical answer given in the answer key is actually wrong. Anyway so let's begin with the analysis. Okay guys so uh, I am basically marking the pages of the left book to be with black lines and pages of the right book with red color and I am separating them out a bit so that we can analyze the forces. So now we're pulling uh, on both sides with a force of F. So now the thing is in the question they asked us a minimum force with which we have to pull so that we can separate them. So clearly in the minimum case, the friction between between the pages in all the surfaces will be limiting friction. So, so the minimum force should be just enough so as to overcome the limiting friction. So basically we can uh, write down the friction between any two surfaces as mu times the normal reaction on that particular surface. Okay, so let's let's say this is page number one, this is page number two and so on and so forth and this will be obviously page number 400, right? So if I consider let's say this particular page over here, there will be friction between these two surfaces and these two surfaces. So if I just draw the FBD of this one page over here, so we have to consider the force of friction on the upper surface and also the force of friction on the lower surface. And we have to do so for each of the pages. And uh, finally, we'll just add all of them and equate it to F and that will give us the answer. So let's say the friction on the upper surface, let's name it as mu times N1, where N1 is obviously the normal reaction between these two surfaces, which essentially is just the mass of this much part of the paper, which actually is given to be M right we'll discuss the magnitudes a bit later and let's say the friction acting on the surface below is is actually mu n1 dash okay and i am using the dash notation because um, as this is page number one right i just want to denote the frictions on it using the subscript one and similarly let's just say the friction force acting on the upper surface of page two is mu n2 and similarly on the bottom bottom surface mu n2 dash and you guys get the idea now, on the 400 page of the red book there will be only one component of friction and that will be acting on the upper surface and the magnitude of that is going to be mu times n subscript 400. And uh, why is it 400? Because on the upper surface of page number one, the friction force is mu n1. So on upper surface of page 400, it will be mu times n 400. Okay. Okay. So now from here, F would simply be equal to the summation of all these forces, which would be mu times n1 plus n1 dash plus n2 plus n2 dash and so on and so forth until n subscript 400. Now n1 is going to be the weight of the pages above the surface, which is nothing but mg. So n1 is going to be mg. Now similarly, n1 dash is going to be the weight of the pages above this surface which is actually 2mg. So n1 dash is going to be 2mg and similarly n2 is going to be 3mg and now you guys get the idea. So if I take mg common then this is going to be mu mg times 1 plus 2 plus 3 so on and so forth. Okay guys so now here you have to be careful now the value of n400 is if you observe n1 n2 n3 n5 are an ap forms an ap with common difference 2 right so n1 corresponds to 1 n2 corresponds to 3 so they form an AP of odd numbers, right? So basically N, N is going to be 2N minus 1. So if you put N equal to 400 here, uh, you'll get N 400 as 799. So this will be N 400 is going to be 799. So now this is a sigma N running from 1 to 799 is N times N plus 1 divided by 2. And after solving, you'll get the minimum value of F as 159.8 newtons. Okay, so that was it for this video guys. Do like, share and subscribe to my channel if you enjoyed the video. And that's it. Thanks for watching.